Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Awesome Finds. Now this is going to be a short but sweet episode because I only got three records to show you, but I guarantee that they're all of high quality. Now first up is a record that was sent to me by I Am 8-Bit, which is a local to me company. They're actually right down the street from me. This was a complete surprise. I actually didn't know of I Am 8-Bit until they sent me this. So I looked them up online and they do really cool products that tie into very popular franchises. And this is the original motion picture soundtrack for the Nice Guys. Brand new film just came out and I love the packaging on this. So we have this kind of an interesting sort of X-ray can't see what's behind here sort of branding almost like an opposite of an OB strip and that just comes off and it doesn't reveal much x-rated material though just to warn you opening up though it is a gatefold and I must warn you that this could be considered x-rated by maybe if you're a grandma opening up we have misty mountains and so this is a nude centerfold that you use 3d glasses with Hello! On the back here, we have a very typical block movie letters. You get the track listings. Overall, the packaging on this is fantastic, but that is not all. It also includes a double-sided poster. Uh, apparently, there are six different versions of this, and so there is uh, one side of it, and here is the flip side of that poster. Pretty cool stuff. I like that attention to detail and you also get liner notes which is very cool so you have a little note from Shane Black on sort of the inspiration behind the film and you also get more cool artwork there too and the last bit of detail I do want to bring up is that they have a business card for the nice guys agency which I love because I actually do collect business cards I've collected them since I was a kid probably nine or ten and I still collect them I have a large collection my goal was to get into the Guinness book of world records for the largest business card collection i'm still pretty far away from that i didn't want to submit till i had a million and honestly i i don't know now i'm collecting because i actually need to hang on to business cards but anyway i'm getting off track here but i think it's really cool little detail that they included a business card you may be asking yourself what is on this soundtrack it's a good question we got a ton of 70s music but like the kind of music that you think of when you think of the 70s. You know what I mean? It's not like the deep cuts, hidden tracks. No, this is like a lot of AM radio standards. So you got The Temptations, Papa Was a Rolling Stone, Taste of Honey, Earth, Wind & Fire, Climax Blues Band, Al Green, Brick, Bee Gees, Kiss, The Band, uh, Rupert Holmes, Andrew Gold, America, and Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass, which I think is awesome. Now, moving on to the records themselves. These things are works of art look at that boom got kind of a pink and white with these uh, trucker mud flap silhouette ladies and it is a double LP so same thing on the other record overall it's just a fantastic presentation and it does really sound good this is one of those soundtracks that would have been a big seller back when people used to buy a lot of soundtracks. I'm talking about like everyday people would buy soundtracks because it was such a good collection of music that you throw it on and now you kind of have a DJ at your dinner party you don't have to worry about, you know what I mean? So anyway, I, uh, I really like this. Go check them out. Iam8bit.com is where you can find them. Really solid stuff. Okay, so up next I have two soundtracks by Mondo. Now, if you're not familiar with Mondo, I think they started out doing posters and t-shirts, and now they actually put out music, they also do collectible figures. So this is a soundtrack for the new Barbarians. And <laughs> there's a story attached to this, at least for me. This was a film I discovered on YouTube real late at night. I love to watch movies from the 80s and 90s, right before CG kind of took over filmmaking. It was during that time when filmmakers really had to be creative to get the shots that they want. They couldn't just do it in post. And so anyway, I found this film on YouTube and I was like, what the heck is this? New Barbarians. And I instantly fell in love with it. And it, it blew me away that this existed. Like someone else had seen this and wanted to put this on vinyl. So I knew I had to get it. You have this amazing cover art on the front. Opening it up, you get some of the bad guys. Really cool gatefold cover. On the back here, you get a couple more stills from the film and a little bit about what you're going to be listening to. It also comes with a really nice write-up liner notes on the film itself. An interview, actually. And you get some more stills of the film. Uh, I encourage you guys, really, check this out. It is a trip to watch and it's amazing how well it came together there's some really neat elements yeah it is kind of cheesy but it's pretty cool so the best part is I, I guess I picked up the uh, limited edition and look at that 
that is amazing. Ah, multicolor splatter. So, so pretty. Anyway, guys, I was stoked to grab this one. All right, so lastly, I got another soundtrack from Mondo and Death Waltz. This is Turbo Kid. Now, this is a new film that I saw on Netflix, I believe. I think it was a Canadian production, and I just fell in love with it. It's such a sweet story, and the music was amazing. Turns out it was done by Le Matos, I think is how you say their name great band and they pretty much did the whole soundtrack except for one song which i think was used in the opening title sequence that's not on here unfortunately i think that was cut because of the length but if you pick up the digital release it's got pretty much every music cue on the film in that it's it's awesome so anyway again like with the other release it's got this sort of ob strip telling you what's coming up next i love this cover art if you guys have seen it, you know what this is all about. This is sort of like a power glove that can shoot things, almost like a Mega Man type thing. Opening it up, look at that. Ah, oh, so good. Really looks airbrushed. I love that. And on the back there, you get another epic shot of Turbo Kid himself, dressed up, ready to take down the bad guys. Also comes with the uh, track listings, some lyrics, because not all the songs have lyrics, and thank yous, and then the kind of a cool saw blade <laughs> severed hand artwork. I really dig that. This is a double LP and both records come in these black sleeves. And this is the standard black edition. I did not pick up the more limited edition. I think they had a couple different variants on colored vinyl. And honestly, the way they did the colored vinyl, it didn't appeal to me as much as this. And to be honest, they cost more than this release. So I, I feel like I paid a pretty good price for this. My only regret is that it doesn't come with a digital download code. I would have really like that because this is a band that you can listen to individual tracks and really dig what's going on. And I, I definitely want to listen to more of their music. All right, guys, that will do it for this episode. I want to thank you so much for watching and be sure to leave me a comment. And let me know what you think. I am your Vinyl Geek and I'll catch you on the flip side.